Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm day weather meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon video update for Monday, December 20th. As we start Christmas week, strong wind gusts will continue to be a fly in the punch bowl, especially tonight and through much of the day Tuesday, with another wave of strong wind gusts impacting I-80 and 25 and elsewhere Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. One of the trade-offs will be mainly dry conditions in the short term, temperatures seasonal to slightly mild. We did have a weak frontal boundary clip northern Wyoming during the night last night and did lead to some snow showers leading to morning slick road conditions. Those have been improving and will continue to improve as high pressure in the south maintains control. We do see a pattern shift coming to much of the northern Rockies and Plains late in the week, just in time for Christmas, and that could lead to some impacts due to snow and snow showers coming in a couple waves, and we'll try to get a sneak peek of what that might look like later on in the video. First things first, road and weather conditions into tonight looking mainly dry the rest of today across the state. The main story will be the wind gusts. Cody Foothills have been getting some gusts flirting with 60 miles an hour already today and will continue to increase tonight as a southwesterly wind flow aloft continues to pick up steam. Over here in the Lander Foothills, east towards south of Casper, Douglas, I-25 to Cheyenne, just east of Laramie and the wind-prone sections of I-80 east of Rollins. We have seen wind gusts pick up this afternoon. In general, they've been behaving themselves, but after 5 o'clock today, as that southwest wind continues to be sustained around 30 to 35 miles an hour, we do expect those gusts to pick up to 55 and 65 miles an hour. This, of course, will cause some high impacts to light and high-profile vehicles, most notably the wind-prone sections of Interstate 80, and especially the summit between Laramie and Cheyenne could also spread to much of I-25 from the Colorado State Line through Cheyenne, Wheatland, and even Douglas. Gusts there could spread over the plains to about 55 and 65 miles an hour. It'll transition nicely to the day on Tuesday. We do expect those high wind gusts to be ongoing during the morning hours. South Pass could see them drop a little earlier in the morning, but they will stay sustained along I-80 and 25 through about 11 o'clock. Then we should start to see those gusts drop back to about 40 and 50 miles an hour on the plains with the gap areas I-80 and I-25, the usual suspects, possibly seeing some sustained gusts at or above 60 miles an hour through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. The Cody foothills will also be ongoing with some stronger wind gusts, mainly around 50 to 70 miles an hour, causing impacts to light and high-profile vehicles. So through tomorrow, we expect mainly dry and favorable road conditions. Some lingering wet to slick areas might linger in the morning, most notably along sections of Interstate 90, far northern Wyoming, and portions of the Bighorn Basin that got some snow showers early this morning. Otherwise, the main weather story will be the ongoing wind gusts. Cody Foothills, we expect those 60-plus mile an hour gusts to continue through early Wednesday with high impacts to light and high-profile vehicles stretching from South Pass to south of Casper, wind-prone sections of Natrona County, Interstate 25, Douglas to the Colorado State Line, including Cheyenne and the wind-prone sections of Interstate 80. That'll be through Tuesday night. What does the rest of the week look like? Well, Wednesday should be pretty much a continuation of the short term with high pressure remaining just enough in control to keep it dry and breezy. Then we expect a pattern shift come Thursday into Christmas Eve. What this looks like, this is, of course, an aerial view of the upper-level winds in the jet stream as of 5 a.m. Friday, Christmas Eve. The high-pressure ridge that was in place through much of the central and southern Rockies will be pushed southward towards Mexico and the Central Pacific. That will open the door for the jet stream to send a few Pacific waves off the Gulf of Alaska and Canada with one such wave coming in during the day Thursday through Thursday night and early Friday. It's this guy right here. We do have another disturbance riding on its heels and that could affect us into Christmas Day, most notably late morning and into the afternoon. Now these are going to be going through pretty fast, so may not necessarily stick around long enough to drop anything significant, but nevertheless as we get into Thursday night and Friday morning, could be looking at some accumulating snows over the western mountains and valleys including South Pass in Wyoming and also a good stretch of Interstate 80 from the Utah line, Evanston, possibly along Rock Springs, Wamsutter, Rollins, Elk Mountain, and Arlington, to possibly about Laramie, 
could get one initial wave of light to briefly moderate snow leading up to a couple three inches with some blustery winds possibly causing some areas of blowing snow. There's been some disagreement in the actual snow amounts amongst the different long range models. They are tending to agree on the actual jet stream placement which would drive the snow events but there's still some disagreement on the details, the finer details at least as you get towards the surface. This is the European model, does have a bout of some light to moderate snow into Thursday and early Friday with another lighter snow event, possibly during the day Christmas Day. The GFS American model is kind of flipped. It'll have a lighter snow event Thursday, then possibly a heavier one come Saturday. Of course, these details will be ironed out in the next day or two, and we'll try to sort them out with future videos later on this week. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.